Hello, everybody. My name is Tyler Lambert, and I am a systems consultant with Cargus. In today's video, we are going to cover how to update your vendor 1099 configuration in Microsoft's Business Central to reflect the updated IRS guidelines for reporting year 2020. Our agenda in this video will consist of recapping what the 1099 NEC form does, where to find and update these settings within Business Central, and finally, how to print the completed form. The 1099 NEC form is a breakout of the non-employee compensation that used to be located on the 1099 miscellaneous form, box seven. This update resulted in a new form, the 1099 NEC, as well as a modified version of the 1099 miscellaneous form. The full explanation of this update can be found on the IRS website, seen here. In order to be eligible to receive the 1099 form update, you must be on version 17.2 of Business Central or newer. To check your version, navigate to the question mark in the top right corner and click Help and Support. Then scroll down to the bottom of the window under the Troubleshooting section and confirm you are on at least version 17.2. Now that we've confirmed our version is up to date, let's navigate to the vendor card to see where the 1099 specific options are. Once on the vendor card, scroll down to the payments section and verify the IRS 1099 code field. If you have used Business Central to track non-employee compensation before, this is likely already set to miscellaneous 07. If not, you can enter miscellaneous 07 now. We are now ready to run the update 1099 form boxes procedure. To do this, go to the search bar and type in 1099 IRS. Click on the 1099 form boxes list and locate the miscellaneous 07 line. Highlight this line and select Process, Update Form Boxes. This may or may not launch a job queue message. If it does and the status of the job is set to On Hold, you can choose to run this process immediately by selecting Process, Set Status to Ready. Let's take a look to see if that update took effect. And if it did, we can print our 2020 1099 NEC form. Back on the vendor card now, we can see here that the 1099 IRS code field is now set to NEC 01 as opposed to miscellaneous 07. This is what we expected to happen with that update. Now, let's navigate back to the 1099 IRS form boxes list to print this document. Once on the list, select Reports, Vendor 1099 NEC. Select the proper year and vendor number filters and click Print. This results in an export that can be printed over top of a blank, pre-printed 1099 NEC form template. Thanks for watching. For more information on Business Central and other ERP consulting services, Visit our website, cargus.com.